Geometry was my favorite subject in, in math. It's the only one I could do well. <laughs> That's why I didn't become an architect. I didn't have the math background. No, actually, geometry is an interesting subject. And I think with Dan, um, it was a lot of his thinking, obviously, uh, very clearly. And, but he felt, it, he felt it was natural also. Because you know, there are all these, this geometry in nature and all this. I mean, when you start to look at the snowflake or you look at the, at the window with, the, with the, uh, how the frost has made these forms, or you look at the petals on a, on a flower, how they're perfectly ordered. I mean, they're recognized all that, a lot of people do. But it's all there in nature. I have a book called Animal Architecture, which is an interesting book by a German fellow. It just shows how, you know, how beehives are constructed or ant hills how they're constructed. I mean, very interesting stuff. And it's all there. It's, nature's already done it, you know. We're doing things, but nature has already done a lot of these things. And it's, uh, uh, I don't know if Dan was fascinated by that ever, but I think he just felt that there's order in, in the whole of nature and landscape. And it just happens that this, if it's a grid, it's a grid. But I think Dan looked at the whole world. A lot of us do that, you know, the elements, everything is made up of the same, same materials and so on. You know, he was, uh, he mentioned Joseph Campbell a couple of times, and I think he was interested in what, and I think that may have come from Anne as well, but he was very interested in Joseph Campbell and what he was talking about, you know, the mythology. And Dan was, Dan was influenced by some people. He never talked about it very much, but uh, Lewis Mumford came quite often. I think Lewis Mumford was a close friend. And uh, <laughs> I have to think, the last time I went to visit Dan in, in Vermont, we were sitting there talking, and Ann was out in the kitchen. He said, he looked at me and he said, Hey, Ann, he said, Joe looks like Lewis Mumford. And I said, That's not a compliment. <laughs> we both had the same, same hairline at, at that point. But, but, you know, he came there a lot, Lewis Mumford. He was interested in Dan as much as a lot of other people were. Dan didn't function intellectually, I don't think, in any way like that. But he, he had a connection to, to these kind of people.